I'm Steve from This Oak with Cars and behind me is three of my favorite Sunbeams. Coming up next week is a SUNY or SUNY as it used to be called Sunbeam event. This is a Sunbeam United International event and these events happen only once every five years. So it's a very special event for those who love Sunbeams where people from all over the world bring their cars together and you get to see unique and rare models that you haven't seen before. For this event I'll be taking my Sunbeam Alpine Harrington Le Mans and one of my Sunbeam Tigers. But I would like to have also been able to take this Sunbeam Alpine. But because the event is held in an area with not very good access or trailer parking, I'm not able to take as many Sunbeams as I would like. Now you might think, there's going to be a lot of Sunbeam Alpines there. Why would you want to take this Sunbeam Alpine? Well, it just so happens that this particular Sunbeam Alpine is one of probably less than 20 Alpines that came originally with a Borg Warner automatic transmission and are still running and on the road today. If you were to search through the Sunbeam Alpine registry, you would find that this particular car is the oldest one that came with a Borg Warner transmission and is still in its original running condition. Since these cars are so rare, I thought I'd give you a tour today because I can't take it to the show. This is a 1964 Sunbeam Alpine and on the outside there's no indications that this is an automatic transmission car. Luckily for us, from the factory, it is stamped into the VIN tag which transmission it had if it came with a Borg Warner automatic transmission. This is a Series 4 Alpine, which means that it is the second to last revision for this version of the Sunbeam Alpine. And it is also the only version that was ever offered with automatic transmission. Once they ended the run for the Series 4 Alpine, the automatic transmission was discontinued. This is a standard car and not a GT as indicated by the vinyl dashboard and not a wooden one. Down here on the floor you can see the shifter for the automatic transmission. It is a 3 speed without overdrive. I have managed to accumulate a second Borg Warner automatic transmission for a Sunbeam and this is what the shifter looks like. Let's take a look underneath the bonnet. Being a Series 4 Alpine, this is the only model of the Sunbeam Alpine that did come with a single carburetor, although this one has had the Solex replaced with a Weber. If we look down here at the serial number tag, we can see the serial number followed by BW, and that indicates that this car came with a Borg Warner automatic transmission. Other numbers on this tag, such as 39, which means this is a Carnival Red car, and LRX, which means it's left-hand drive, roadster, and non-standard or export model. The tag next to it is the SAL tag which is the tag that was used to identify the chassis as it was moving through the Sunbeam plant. A Tiger has a JAL tag instead of a SAL tag because it was produced at the Jensen factory not the Sunbeam factory. Well let's take the Alpine for a drive. You don't need to be on the brake pedal just make sure that it's in park. <laughs> I do have a noisy water pump on this car. I'm still working out some bugs. You can see my horn ring is missing. The tack is reading incorrectly. There's a few little bugs that I need to work out still. Well, let's see how it drives with this automatic transmission. We just set it into drive and we're off. You can see it shifted there, pretty low RPM, real casually. And that first shift is very quick, a lot more comfortable than it is in the manual transmission car. I find this car to be a lot more lazy than the Alpines with the manual transmissions. That's probably partly because you're not choosing the gear that you would like to be in. Right now I would probably be in third gear, but in this car I'm in top gear. Which means if I put my foot to the floor, it's not going to accelerate as quickly as a manual transmission car would. There's some big disadvantages to an automatic transmission, probably one of the biggest being that you cannot push start the car. Although Sunbeam Alpines do have the provision for a hand crank, so you can hand crank the engine.
This car can still get up and go when you want it to. Another disadvantage to the automatic transmission would be that they're less reliable and parts will be very hard to find for it. And lastly, if you try to drive this car on the interstate, the engine will be working as fast as it can because overdrive is not available on the automatic transmission. If you just want a car to comfortably cruise on the weekend and you love some beam alpines but you want something a little different than what everyone has, Finding one with an automatic transmission might be just the thing for you. Another fun thing about having a classic car with an automatic transmission is that anybody can drive it. So if I have some people over and we're going to take a collection of cars out and drive them and someone doesn't know how to drive a manual transmission car, they could get in this car and drive it without any problems. This car is comfortable and beautiful and if you don't have to travel long distances on the interstate, this is a great Alpine to own. Well, that's it for today. If you are going to be at the SUNY event, maybe I'll see you there. And for the rest of you, if you like seeing videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.